To this, Fox News alerted a defiant President Biden came out last night pushing back on reporters during last night's surprise address mini press conference following the bombshell special counsel report that took aim at, quote, his diminished faculties. In his description, you are a well meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. All right, but just moments later, another gaffe as President Biden confuses Mexico and Egypt while talking about the situation in Gaza. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. Wow. Let's bring in former Tennessee Congressman, co-host of the Five, Harold Ford Jr. Uh, Congressman, great to see you. Good morning. Uh, your reaction to the presser and the report. First off, Peter Ducey did a great job last night. I thought his reaction on some of our evening shows when he said in the room, it didn't come across as, as the, the exchange uh, as, as tough as it was. And I thought his reporting afterwards was great. Two, uh, the president's lost his fastball. I, th I think um, uh, on both sides, uh, Republican and Democrat, but President Biden last night, uh, I think even in that interview, even in the uh, press conference there, um, uh, demonstrated to a lot of Americans what Mr. Hur wrote in that in that piece. I think if you take a step back in the special counsel report, the notion that President Biden willfully retained these documents, I think the second piece of this, will, the questions will come around whether or not President Trump, uh, who also is facing challenges here, um, did he, should he be charged the same way or should he be being investigated the same way? I think an obstruction of justice charge with President Trump may be more appropriate than if right. he willfully retained a document. Tell that to Jack Smith. He won't hear of it. Well, but I'm saying, but I, I think th these questions now are going to come more to the fore. But I, 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 don't, I don't mean to duck anything that you're asking this morning. This was a tough night for the president. Uh, and I think many in the Democratic Party, which is my party, are going to have serious questions going forward about what this right. means. This last night will be the closing ad in a campaign against President Biden as we get to November. The question is, are Democrats willing to go forward between now and November uh, with a candidate uh, that many in the country may not think is up to the job for four more years? Because it, it went from Washington insiders say and anchors and hosts say to a Robert report, Robert her report reveals. And here's the, some of the damning part of this. It opens up saying no criminal charges really because he's too old. You do, he, he did not remember when he was vice president, forgetting on the first day of the interview when his term ended, and forgetting on the second day of the interview when his term began. He did not remember even within years when his son, Bo, died. So he came out and got personally offended by that. But he's trying to say is, I can't even conduct this interview about the intention when he can't remember how this stuff got to where it got. So the implication is clear. Um, uh, Mr. Herr, uh, whom I don't know, um, um, this was an, an era when you appointed special counsels years ago where you appointed a, a special counsel not from the president's party to give it more credibility. Uh, and in this instance here, um, again, they trot the president out last night to refute the notion that he right. does not have diminished capacity or does not, does not have diminished faculties. Uh, I'm not sure they succeeded last night. How surprised would you be if he is the candidate uh, come the Democratic National Convention? Um, I'll put it this way. I'll answer it this way. If you'd asked me that question two or three days ago, the, the answer was it's very unlikely that he, any other person could be the nominee. I think after last night, uh, I think that question becomes one that has to be answered more forthrightly and more thoughtfully. And as of right now, I think Democrats are going to have to grapple with this over the next several weeks and few months. Uh, and there's, there are a right. few elders in the party that can, that can perhaps have this conversation, and we'll see if they do. You on the five tonight? I am on the fist. This is early for me. It's that, that's another reason to watch. I appreciate it. <laughs> I will give you a, I'm entitled to another cup of coffee in the green room. Just press the button. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.